multiple offers, which one should you choose? Did you know that just because you received an offer $20,000 over your asking price doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better offer than the one that was only $10,000 over your asking price? In this video, I'll break down some key things to think about besides offer price when you find yourself reviewing multiple offers. Hi, I'm Lindsay Carlisle with the Tom Daves EXP Realty team in Rockland, California, and we help homeowners sell their homes faster for more money with less stress so they can move on to the next adventure in their lives. Believe me, I want you to pocket the most amount of money for your house too. So I understand why you'd be confused how to choose the best offer. I help sellers choose offers for very specific reasons, and sometimes the offers they choose did not have the highest price. First on the list, closing date. Does that date match up with your desired time frame, or will you be homeless for a few weeks while you wait for your next house to close? How important is that date to you? What type of financing does the buyer have? Are they offering cash or getting a loan? Did you know that the type of loan needs to be taken into account based upon the condition of your home and other contributing factors? Certain loan types have stricter appraisal requirements than others. Imagine if you found yourself in a situation where you're now required to make a $10,000 repair or replacement, or the buyer's lender says, nope, we're not funding this loan. Are they offering an additional down payment if the appraised value does not come in at their offered purchase price? In a hot market like this, everyone is offering over asking price. Does that mean you will actually receive that price? Not if you potentially accept the wrong offer or don't counter out certain items in the contract. How about the inspection contingency? Most buyers will want an inspection on their new home before moving in. Truthfully, it's a great way to protect themselves from unforeseen circumstances. However, again, we're in a market that's so hot, we've seen plenty of buyers waiving their inspection contingency. Let's just use the scenario of receiving an offer that is $20,000 over asking and the buyer is requesting an inspection, but you have another offer that is only $10,000 above asking price, but they are waiving their inspections, which means they are not having inspections. Well then, that's something to consider. Because on the home that is having inspections, you are open to the possibility of the inspector finding issues that you didn't know of. And then you and the buyers will possibly have to re-enter negotiations or worse, they could just simply walk away. Those are only a few things to think about when you're reviewing multiple offers. Having an experienced agent like myself in your corner to help you comb through the fine print details of the multiple contracts will stop your head from spinning. We will get you the most money for your home with a strong confidence that we won't run into a ton of issues that could cost you time, money, and energy later in your transaction. To find out some other reasons that the highest price offer might not always be the best choice for you when selling your home, make sure to reach out to us at 855-TOM-DAVES.